Our guest tonight is one of the funniest guys there is. He's got an animated show, F is for Family, on Netflix. You can listen to his podcast and see him woo Marissa Tomei in the new Judd Apatow movie, The King of Staten Island. It's available now on VOD. Hello, Bill Burr. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, Jimmy? Oh, you know. <laughs> just, just sitting in a house. You know what? I admire the fact that you've chosen to wear the giant old-timey headphones for this and not the little ones that everybody else opts for. I hate those ones because you got to jam them in your ears, and my ears are messed up from playing drums. So this is like, I think I got these at like a Radio Shack uh, Best Buy. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Oh, am I supposed to have those little straws that people have coming up? I would lose those in a second. <laughs> by the way, I want to mention, because you, I drove by your house a few months ago at the beginning of this quarantine, and at mm -hmm. the time you said you weren't really missing doing stand-up. How are you feeling three months later? Uh, now, yeah, now I miss it. I now think miss I missed it. it. I missed it then. I just wasn't in touch with it. I was just like, it was like I got dumped. So I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't care. I don't need to stand up anyway. And now, uh, now I don't know. You probably would have been home because your wife just had a baby, right? I mean, like, uh, maybe like a couple yeah. weeks. How, yeah, yeah week, not too long week ago. A week and a half ago, she gave me a beautiful baby boy. So I got a daughter and a son now, and it's, it's awesome. And then fortunately... He emotionally seems to be wired like my wife, so he's like totally chill. He just kind of cries when he's hungry. So uh -huh. I have bad news for you. I have a well. I happen to have a Billy at home, and he seemed totally chill too. And now he's a full-fledged maniac. You know, I was just gonna say that that's what parents always do, because everybody told me because my daughter was chill, and they go, "Oh, you yeah. know what that that means? <laughs> that means you know they start taking out you know their warm goat's melt and start looking at the skies and and the stars, and they always predict something horrible is going to happen. It's that and like, horrible. What, and 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 whatever age their kid is, if your kid is younger, it's like, oh, you kid seventeen weeks, wait till he's eighteen weeks, and it's. Like, I just want to be like, do you ever think maybe you suck at being a parent, like, or maybe. The DNA no. that you and your, your with, you made a little serial killer. Maybe that's what you did. I bet I bet Jeffrey Dahmer's parents would be like, oh, yeah, wait till he discovers animals. And you catch him taking part of grasshopper to see how its wings work and all of that crap, right? It's like they yeah. didn't realize that Jeffrey was going to eat people someday. You know what? You, you, you might have a point. He's not eating I definitely, people. I definitely have a point. <laughs> I definitely have a point, too. People always trying to get, like, also, if you have an interracial kid, they always try to guess what it's going to look like. And it's always yeah. these wild things. And, and like, they don't understand that they're trying to guess, you know, it's either going to be really good looking or really weird looking. It's like, dude, look around. Most people are weird looking. <laughs> look at me. I'm 100% white dude. I'm a weird looking dude. You know what I mean? The the best dogs are mixed dogs. They're the chillest dogs. I'm telling you. You're right. You're absolutely <laughs> right on that. Yeah. Oh, that's why. The, that's why all those the, the, over there in England, the, the 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 royal family. That's why they're all so weird looking. They're all banging in the same pool. They're like a bunch of Dalmatians that can that's talk. That's right. Yeah. They're they're pure. They're purebred lunatics. <laughs> I want to ask you about Dalmatians because you play a firefighter in the King of Staten Island. And I assume you did some kind of like firefighter, I don't know, training or ride along or something like that. I did the actor version. You so it was about version. four hours. There was plenty of bottles of water, little fan. They had, we had little fans. But uh, the, <laughs> when we went to the, uh, I keep forgetting the name of the island. It's just north of Roosevelt Island where they, they uh, in, in the East River, where they, they train them. So we went into a building. You had to go in twice. One time to fight the fire. Another time you had to crawl through a smoky room. And they had us wearing, like, the actual gear with yeah. oxygen and that type of stuff. And, like, I, I, just going up one flight of stairs, I swear to God, I, I, I felt like I was in my 600-pound life. Like, I thought my <laughs> heart was going to come out of my chest. And then the next time you came in, you had to do the smoke thing and you had to go up two flights of stairs and that one's like it was really claustrophobic and all of that but when we did the movie they they kind of gave us the actor version of the suit where they took the oxygen out of the tank so they went like seven eight pounds off your back gotcha you know yeah. i think i had like a uh, john varvados uh uh you know <laughs> fireman jacket on or something you know there was craft service we could take a break whenever we wanted to so it was definitely uh and judd was also 
understood that it was, of course, the last week of July and it was hot as hell in the Bronx is where we shot that. So he made sure to keep it going, moving along and getting people in and out as, you know. Well, you did a great job in the movie. You really did. You have a fantastic mustache in the film, too. Uh, let's take a look at the mustache because it is uh, almost Yosemite Sam-esque. It is a... <laughs> But is that real? Is that your own hair? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, that's good um, stuff. But I just, I like to, I, you just told me to stop shaving. So we shot, started shooting in June. So I stopped shaving beginning of April. We started sh So that's like two months. But when it was a beard, I, I looked like a hipster because I had a clean shaved head and then this totally scraggly looking thing. Yeah, and if then you they were just, making me an espresso, I wouldn't be surprised with that yeah, mustache. Yeah, using words like, like artisan. <laughs> well, I don't know about that mustache. I kind of look like I'm in the gay S&M scene and that thing. <laughs> but I will tell you this, though. What was funny was, speaking of that look, was when we first started shooting, June is Pride Month in New yeah. York City. Right. So there was all these you know, extra amount of gay guys in there. And I got to tell you, I didn't get one look. I got nothing. <laughs> like, I am officially, I am old to everybody now. You we're, know what I mean? We're going to turn that around. <laughs> we're going to take a break. <laughs> Bill Burr is with us. From the king of Staten Island, we'll be right back. Bill Burr is with us from his house. He's got a new baby at home. Were you in the delivery room? Did they let you in or because of COVID, are they not allowing that now? Uh, because of COVID, it was like a Bronx tale where you could go in, but once you went in, it was like, now you can't leave. Were you of any help? No, and nor no. should I be. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Did you do? I remember last time. <laughs> Let me you ask you this: a, When you go to yeah. Jiffy Lube, are you are you any help? Are you of any help? Do you get underneath the car? That's not my job. My job is to get her there before she has the kid, which I did, and then I pay the bills. So yes, I was of help. <laughs> I want to mention your show on Netflix. F is for family. It's very funny, and you have Mike from Breaking Bad, and also uh, Better Call Saul, who you worked with on Breaking Bad, right? Is that where you met him? Jonathan Banks. Jonathan yeah. Banks. And, yeah. Yeah. He's on the show. Me and my now. family were, were huge fans of his all the way back to uh, Beverly Hills Cop. He was the heavy that shakes down Axel Foley. Wait, spoiler really? alert. If you haven't uh -huh. seen it, it's like 40 yeah. years old. <laughs> so he was a guy who's like, uh, you know, he shakes down, sorry, Axel Foley's friend. Like, hey, Mikey, what'd you get lost? Remember that guy? That, yeah, that's right. Him. I didn't realize that. Wow. So in my house, that was a catchphrase. Like, if you were late for dinner, that's what, hey, what happened, what happened, Mikey? Did you get lost or something like that? It means you, you were in trouble, you were going to get whacked or whatever. So it was so cool to meet him on that. And then he was really generous telling stories about what it was like to shoot that film and all of that. And uh, got to know him. Just That's a great fun. guy. And now, yeah. yeah, now he's doing the cartoon. So each night we have a charity. You chose St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. St. Jude's a great organization. They do so many great things for children and families who need it. I'm going to make a donation uh, in your honor, Bill. Stjude.org oh. is the uh, is the website if you want like to join me. Bill Burr, King of Staten Island, F is for Family, and one of, if not the funniest podcast there is. Thank you very much, uh, Bill. Congratulations on the baby. All right, Jimmy. Thank you, buddy. We'll be right back. Jimmy Kimmel, live. <laughs> this is ridiculous.